Yes, please. Very, very good, Arun. Please take your seat. Just sleep there. Just sleep there, sir. Thank you. This is your identity code. Yes, sir. And give your brief introduction with the help of this code. Don't share your personal information like your name, your uh, state name, your caste and your religion. Yes, sir. My code is 24. I have completed my graduation in Bachelor of Science from Sarojini Naidu Co uh, College and uh, I am, since then I am uh, pursuing for civil services. My hobby is di uh, diary writing and my... Uh, yes. yes, your strength and weakness? Yes sir, my strength is that I am a hard worker person, I am compassionate and I try to learn new things. Okay, your optional is sociology. Yes, so first of all tell me what is society? So society is the uh, institution that we are living in. It is group of people that we are sharing our ha uh, our habitation and the environment that we are living with them. This is the sociological definition or normal definition? Uh, so this is just a normal definition. I am asking about the student of sociology. What is society? Uh, so basically and how it is different from the group? So, group may con uh, contain uh, many things, it may contain biotic, non-biotic things as well, but society mainly consists of human being. Human groups? What about human groups? So, human groups you want me uh, to... I am asking about the human group. Uh, so hu it contains only humans? Yes, sir. Then what is different between human group and human society? I am not aware of it. So. Okay. Which thinker you like in sociology? Uh, Sir R.K. Martin, Karl Marx, August Comte. R.K. Martin. Tell me about the latent and mani manifest function of the R.K. Martin. Sir, latent functions are those functions that we can't uh, perceive or uh, we don't understand in its real meaning. Uh, uh, we don't do it purposely. Uh, but the manifest function are those that we take uh, cognizance of it. We think that we are doing a particular thing and it is uh, done for that thing also. What is the role of functions in uh, functionalist theory? Uh, so functions are the basic building uh, blocks of a thing that functional uh, basic functions are help uh, functions are helpful in society. Uh, they are functional. They are uh, maintain able. Uh, they are responsible for maintaining stability in society and integration in society. Okay. How structural functional theory is different from the behavioral theory? Uh, uh, so structural functional theory basically uh, is based on the principle that society is made up of structures and different structures perform their own function. Uh, they help in mainly integrating society. They provide stability and proper uh, goal attainment to the society. You are the student of uh, sociology, correct? Yes, sir. What is the article 44 says? Uh, of constitution yeah constitution yes sir. article 44 of constitution is from dpsp it talks about uniform civil code now a lot of discussion is going on on this what yes, is sir? your take on it it should be implemented so uh, definitely in a uniform civil code is the uh, fa uh, is the vision of our founding fathers of constitution they want to bring uh, consensus in society for common uh, laws regarding the um, regarding civil matters but uh, I think uh, a uniform civil code uh, can be br uh, brought in by proper consensus among the society, proper debates and discussions need to be done before implementing it. Then uh, do you think that if it will go uh, for debate and discussion and uh, who are the persons who are going to take the decision and uh, doing, going to do this debate? Media persons or politician or whoever? So every sphere is, has its own importance. Uh, First of all, parliamentarians themselves will do the discussion in the uh, parliament and media also work, media basically publicly aware the people about the things. Uh, we know many things about media, there will be discussion at all, every level. Now the role of media is uh, means in question, means the, how our media is acting in our country. Uh, if you see a lot of questions are being raised uh, over media. Do you think that uh, media will be able to aware or uh, make a consensus uh, uh, on this uh, issue? 
Sir, uh, role of media uh, is uh, being criticized these days because of its credibility and uh, in the trend of going towards sensationalization and bre uh, breaking news culture. But sir, there are still many newspapers, newsprint that uh, provide unbiased uh, advice and information to the public. Uh, sir, I we can you name can you name three four uh, such newspapers or print media names? Uh, sir, the Hindu, Indian Express. These are such kind of newspaper. And all other media means uh, you uh, you think that they are not doing a, a proper work. They are only involved in sensationalization. No, sir, that's not the only case that they are only involved in essentialization. But, uh, sir, uh, I think uh, there is a kind of thing that uh, people prefer these medias because of their... Th then how we can make a, sense, a consensus on this? Sir, there need to only be... Media. print media, you know, you are going to be a SDM if, if you will be selected in UP. And what is the... If you uh, see literacy rate uh, of the women in UP, it's a, a very poor, unfortunate. But... Uh, if uh, you are taking the name of only the Hindu and Indian Express, uh, both are in, uh, in English, if uh, I remember correctly. And how we can uh, uh, even think of that, ki they are going to uh, serve this purpose for uh, these ladies or these poor people uh, of UP. And majority of, if you see, uh, uh, people are uh, illiterate and uh, then only the Options left uh, with us uh, only leaders, mass leaders. Uh, don't you think that uh, the role of mass leaders is uh, more important than media? So uh, definitely role of leaders is important as well. And for media part, we need to go for the media ethics. Media themselves need to follow media ethics. They need not to follow the things for get, getting TRP only. And so regulation of t uh, media is also being done by themselves. By uh, and in, in for Ministry of Information is also being considering. You was you was debates uh, on uh, new channels. Uh, sir, I don't do this uh, on daily basis, but uh, I do it occasionally. Any last debate you remember you watched? Uh, yes, sir, uh, about uh, uh, India Sri Lanka crisis. It's, uh, sorry, Sri Lanka crisis. It presently going on in Sri Lanka. Okay, why why Sri Lanka is. Uh, uh, fa uh, facing this crisis, uh, what, what are the top five reasons? Uh, sir, because of its internal policies, first of all, uh, in, uh, Sri Lanka reduced its, its VAT, and that is value-added tax, from 18% to just 5%. It uh, hit back their revenue. And second, uh, they relied on natural farming, that is or organic farming. Uh, with, uh, without importing any chemical fertilizers or anything, uh, which uh, which struck heavily to their agriculture production they in a, uh, to rice and so uh, so eastern warm attacks this uh, it, it's it affected its tourism sector which is the main source of its revenue you don't you think that there is any role of the covid pandemic COVID yes sir crisis? yes sir a covid crisis also hit the tourism industry as well any other reason so i uh, currently i'm able to we call these only. Your hobby is uh, diary writing. Yes. Sir. What kind of uh, diary you maintain or write? You write on daily basis or weekly basis or monthly basis. And uh, till date, how many diary you have uh, uh, written? Uh, so actually, I write. Uh, usually try to write diary on a daily basis. Daily basis. Yes. I usually write my daily schedule and uh, some things, uh, something positive about the day or any new thing that I got to learn. What is your uh, schedule, uh, daily schedule, uh, in a normal routine, uh, in a normal day, I'm talking about? Okay, so I wake up and then I do yoga, then just I then start to read news, I, that I, then I read newspaper. After then I do my study, then no normal routine, study and then meeting with friends. Like. Then uh, what is the need to write all these things in diary? So diary helped me in uh, updating myself. It helped me in knowing new things. Uh, for example, I met my uh, a friend from South India. He helped me to uh, few new things about their culture. So I mentioned it. That is fine. But uh, this is happens uh, sometimes. Uh, on daily basis, you write in diary about your uh, schedules and about your daily routine. Yes. Do you really think that is that is really important to write down? It means that you don't believe your memory. 
No, sir. That's not the reason. But uh, I think diary writing helped me in uh, keeping my schedule. Okay. Uh, uh, suppose uh, one your uh, former friend want to visit UP, and uh, he is uh, more interested in Taj Mahal as usual. People uh, get interested, and uh, he has three days or four days. And what other places uh, do you offer uh, to him? Or her in UP. Uh, sir, I will uh, ask uh, that friend to visit Varanasi, the culture of Ganga, the uh, the uh, the culture that we have, the ancient Indian culture, religion, as well as uh, natural environment. And I will also suggest him to visit Durdhva Pilibhit for wildlife adventure. And any other place? Only two. Places. Lucknow, Lucknow as well. Lucknow for what? So for its handicraft, chicken curry work, and for the food as well. Okay. Okay. One situational question. Suppose uh, you have been selected as uh, as DM. Yes. Sir. And uh, your seniors uh, trust you a lot, and uh, they ask uh, to do a work which is uh, ethical, but uh, that is not as per the rule. and uh, you have to choose means that if you will do that work it it is going to impact a lot of uh, poor people positively and uh, the work is ethical but that the work is not as per the rule so what you will do in that situation whether you will follow the orders of your senior or uh, you won't follow and disallow how you will tackle this so in such in such situation we can adopt a middle path we can uh, try uh, if there are any legal method or any other uh, method that can be legal as well uh, for as for example taking help of any ngo or anything else that we no, it, is, it is very categorical madam hmm. means whatever orders are uh, given to you yes sir that is ethical it is going to uh, solve lot of problem of the poor people yes, sir. but if you will go by the rule you can't do this so, so how you can involve the ngo in that i don't know but uh, it is uh, ali told by your bosses it is uh, ethical you you will do it you will get lot of satisfaction but you uh, somehow you have to tick with the rules so uh, being a civil servant abiding by the rule should be the prime responsibility abiding by the rules is primary responsibility Yes, sir. Okay, and ethics is uh, no response. So, but uh, what what about the ethics? You need not to follow any ethics. So, uh, for that, I will take any other thing, or I can ha- take any other route instead of me okay. doing things. Okay. Let's make it more plain. Suppose uh, there is Just one minute, person. Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I am uh, explaining that question in a simple manner. Suppose that one old and uh, ill person want to help with want to help from you. monetary help and uh, the conditions to help to the poor or people persons not fulfill the crit- legal criteria then how to help that uh, that old persons so we can go for the crowd funding medium by the social media uh, we can also have an advertisement in that uh, in newspaper as well and we can also take help of ngo for that so uh, your option is sociology yes right? Can you just briefly uh, describe the alienation theory of Karl Marx? Yes, sir. Alienation theory of Karl Marx says that uh, in capitalism, basically, uh, the process and production process of production becomes such that the people lost the uh, uh, lost connection with the product process and from themselves. Uh, see, uh, the uh, recently data was released in the newspapers, in the newspapers, and the migration rate from India has increased. Right. In the previous, compared to the previous years, the migration rate in India has increased from India. Yes, sir. So, how do you see this? What What are the reasons for uh, large scale migration from India? And how? Suppose you are given a position where uh, you will have to evaluate and just uh, see that uh, migration should be controlled, or uh, how do you see this issue as an issue? 
it's uh, actually because of globalization there are multiple opportunities available people migrate because of employment education opportunities uh, brain drain is a common <coughs> phenomenon in india that people uh, aspire for higher jobs and and studies in foreign countries that's why they are migrating as well because of economic opportunities as well no, migration has been there for, uh, since from uh, ancient times that's not an issue what my question was in the recent past 4 to 5 years the migration rate has increased yes, from india right recent data was uh, released and it was increased to so so how do you see this issue as an issue or how would you tackle that uh, this migration should happen from india Uh, so for uh, for this we need to promote education employ opportunities in india as well just like study in uh, study in india fund in new education policy and uh, south asian universities and international university collaboration can help in this and for economic opportunities uh, india is also emerging as a uh, third largest eco startup ecosystem we have many startups here so uh, so i think then it can Basically, help we are not able to uh, reach or send this message to the common man so things will soon change people will try to gra grab opportunities as well here but uh, i think we okay. need to promote things okay. like this uh, you mentioned uh, you uh, like the area right yes you mentioned some of your friend was from south india and he uh, you have noted down some of the culture So what uh, differences uh, you show uh, so in uh, basically in the culture uh, of South India and in North India? So first of all, language is the major thing that divides us there from them. Uh, they may, uh, basically follow uh, different traditions and different food habits. For us, uh, food our staple diet is wheat, and for them their staple diet is rice. And for religious pur uh, purpose as well. Uh, they follow different things and uh, for uh, marriage and other customs they follow different things okay, so can you just uh, point out some of uh, the things or by name if you remember uh, yes sir, i have seen a photo where uh, even muslims were doing barmala ceremony right. in north india which is not prevalent as much and your friend is a muslim yes sir. so basically he is from which state in south india andhra pradesh um, Yes. Any other differences you saw? So, uh, in uh, their language, uh, even many slangs other that language, we use. Uh, other uh, differences can be seen in uh, culture of South India. In uh, so festivals, they celebrate different festivals as well. For them, New Year is Vishu. We. Yeah, we that's a festival of Kerala. And so, uh, yes, sir, sorry, sir, Ugadi, Ugadi is right. their festival. Yes. Ugadi is a big festival, sir, in Andhra. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, celebration. Yes, sir. Yes. I'm sorry. They celebrate in January. Right. And you uh, mentioned, if suppose your friend asks uh, to visit any cultural uh, city or town in Uttar Pradesh, yes. yes, sir. You will be taking him to Varanasi. Yes. Sir. Why only Varanasi, not any other city? So uh, uh, Varanasi basically uh, is famous for its ghats, natural beauty, cultural as well. I like that. So that that's why I would prefer to visit. Suggest them. Okay, because you like uh, Varanasi, you will make him to visit Varanasi. Yes, you sir. You have been there in Varanasi? No, sir. I have seen just videos of it, but I like it much. Okay, how many districts are connecting to YMP? YMP, uh, sir. I don't remember the exact numbers, but I it is around ten. Ten districts of UP connecting to YMP. Yes, sir. Around ten. I. Not exactly aware. The IMMR, IMR, and MMR recent report says that UP is the worst performing state. Sir, what are the basic issues you find, and what is the reason behind it? Sir, first of all, uh, lack of nutrition in women. Uh, so, uh, according to National Family Health Survey, around fifty-eight percent women are anemic. Uh, sir if the mother is uh, anemic then possibility there of imr is high and mmr is also high and institutional mm -hmm. deliveries in remote and backward areas is a major issue and so uh, emphasis on nutrition and antenatal and postnatal care is also crucial for this do you recall the numbers of immr and mmr in up uh, sir imr is uh, 38 and mmr is 167 what are the five social issues of up 
also uh, caste based inequalities and uh, uh, gender based violence and uh, uh, how women literacy is low there what is gender based violence so gender based violence is like uh, we uh, Uh, we commit violence against a particular uh, gender just based on their gender based uh, gender identities for example in hathras case it's like a stereotype is only connected to female or it's also related to male yes sir gender is a neutral term it includes even transgenders also can you explain any gender violence issue related to male uh, sir i don't e- and, uh, exactly remember the place where it was found i saw a video in social on social media that a um, school teacher was being beaten by uh, her wife by his wife diary writing is your hobby what is the difference between diary and declamation uh, declamation i'm not aware of it sorry sir what is the difference between autobiography biography and memoir so autobiography is uh, something that uh, we write of our, ourselves and biography is when someone else write our story uh, by mm-hmm. so and the third one was immoral m e m o i r so i am not aware about it so do you read anyone's diary no sir if i want to read your diary did you allow me so actually i will not uh, for me it's it's my personal space that i will not allow it to you tell me the sociological analysis of the term sabka saath sabka vikas yes, sir it focuses on inclusiveness the inclusiveness participatory governance and uh, and uh, bring, uh, and bringing all stakeholders in society together give some example of any scheme or policy which is directly the example of such sabka saath sabka vikas so ayushman bharat is a scheme that promotes universal insurance in for terms of healthcare okay you are graduate uh, science graduate yes so one question from each branch first of all why s2s is gas and s2o is water Uh, because of their chemical composition and uh, they are uh, like um, uh, h2o is hydrogen is same in both component in both uh, uh, chemical composition sir actually i am not aware about the ex- actual explanation sorry sir 11 plus 2 equal to 1 11 plus 2 equal to 1 in which condition it is possible plus 2 equal to 1 The man who know this infinity. I am asking about. So you are asking about the movie. Yes, right. Uh, uh, Ramanujan. Shinabha What is Ramanujan. the contribution of Ramanujan in the field of mathematics? So he discovered uh, uh, the Ramanujan number that is one seven two nine. That is the simplest number of uh, cube of. Uh, numbers that can be interchangeably changed. last question from the board yes sir bulldozer works on which principles sorry sir i am not aware about it okay your interview is over you may go now thank you sir